good? In this video, I will be showing you how to use Linktree for affiliate marketing on Pinterest. Pinterest is one of the most popular social media platforms and I will be showing you how to use Linktree to make money on Pinterest. The first thing you will need to do once on Pinterest.com, if you don't have an account already, you are going to create an account. It is quite straightforward and it is completely free. After creating your Pinterest account, I want you to go onto link 3 and from there you are also going to create an account. With link 3 you can get started for completely free. All you will need to do is tap on link 3 in the bottom left hand corner right here and you can add in a username that you would want then tap on claim your link 3 and from there you can sign up. Once you are signed up you will be redirected to a dashboard just like this. Once on this dashboard, it is now time to add your affiliate link. To add an affiliate link, all you will need to do is tap on add link. Then from there, let's say for example, the affiliate platform that we'll be using is Amazon. An Amazon affiliate program is very popular and again, you can sign up for completely free and it is beginner friendly. Once you are signed up, you'll be provided with a navigation bar just like what you see right here. And all you'll need to do once you're on a product that you'd like to promote, you'll simply tap on get link in the top left hand corner. Then from there you can copy the link. After you have copied the link, you'll go back into link 3 and you're going to paste the link right here. Then you're going to tap on add. Now that you have added the link, you can see that is, is only the link showing right there. But if it is a case that you'd like to add a thumbnail image, all you'll need to do is tap on the thumbnail option right here. Then tap on set thumbnail. After you have done that, you can tap on upload your own image. Then for example, we could go back into Amazon, tap on the product. Then from there, you could right click and tap on save image. After doing that, you could go back into link 3, tap where you see select file. Then from there, you could select the image, tap on open. After doing that, we can tap on free right here. Then from there, we can simply adjust it. So let's say for example, we want the top part to be showing right there. So we can do that real quick by simply pulling on it. Then tap on crop, then tap on upload. And now you can see that we have a thumbnail image right there and we have our Amazon link. Another thing you can also do, you can tap where you see Amazon.com right here. And from there, you could change it. So we could change it to microphone, for example, sake. So you can see it right there. After doing that, all you'll need to do now, since we have created our first link through. Now, if you would like to add other affiliate products, you can do that by tapping on add link. You can add more links. Once you're finished, all you'll need to do now is tap on share in the top right hand corner. From there, you can tap on copy and you'll have copied your link 3 URL. After copying your link 3 URL, what I need you to do next is go back onto Pinterest. Once on Pinterest, we're going to be creating a pin using Canva and I'm going to be showing you how to integrate link 3 on Pinterest. So all you'll need to do is simply tap on your profile pic in the top right hand corner. After tapping on your profile pic, you'll simply tap on saved right here, then tap on the plus, then we're going to tap on pin. After tapping on pin, from here you can upload your first pin. So all you'll need to do is go into Canva. So we're going to go onto canva.com. Once on canva.com, you can tap on the search bar and type in Pinterest. So you can do that real quick. So we can type in Pinterest right there. Then from there, you can see different options. You can choose video pins or you can choose a regular Pinterest pin. And you'll be provided with numerous templates that you can choose from. So you could scroll down and you could select a template of your liking. So let's say for example, the template that we like to use is this one. We can simply select it. Then from there, you could tap on customize this template. After selecting customize this template from here, you can make the changes that you want. So you could tap on uploads. 
and then from there you could upload the image so for example let's say i were to remove this so i'm going to tap on delete frame and i'm also going to delete this right here so let me delete all of this real quick so i'm going to delete grid then i'm going to delete this also and i'm going to be adding the image that i had downloaded so i'm going to delete that grid then i'm going to tap on elements after tapping on elements from here i'm going to simply type in grid after typing in grid i'm going to tap on see all and from there you can see the different grid options that you have and all you need to do is simply select a grid that you would like to use so let's say for example that one then i'm going to tap on uploads from the left hand menu option and i'm going to select the microphone that i had downloaded after doing that all you'll need to do now is drag and place the microphone after doing that you can select the text that is currently there and i could change the color as it is not visible at the moment then i could change the text right here also the text color as you can see right there and then you can also add a call to action right here so you could simply go over to the left hand menu option and select text then from there for example you could type in quick link for discount or so on you could type in a call to action you can see right there then i could change the text color also after you have done that and by the way this is just a quick tutorial i could also tap on effects and then i could add a background color so let me do that real quick so let's say for example that right there once you're finished you'll tap on share in the top right hand corner then tap on download then tap on download once more now that you have created your pin all you'll need to do is go back into pinterest tap right here then we're going to be adding our pin so we can tap right there and you can see our pin has now been added next thing you're going to do you're going to add a title after adding your title you're going to add the link that we had copied from link 3 now after adding this link you can choose whether you like to add it on a board or not or you can create a board then from there you can add in the searchable tags and remember that with pinterest a lot of persons go onto pinterest and they type in what they are searching for so what i recommend you do for example with this with this example we are promoting a microphone so what i would do is type in best microphone under a hundred dollars so if someone were to come onto pinterest and type in that prompt they would be redirected or better yet my my pin would pop up so i would use that then i'm going to type in best microphone so you want to type in keywords that persons probably will come and search for so you're going to do that right there once you're finished you're going to simply tap on publish and again you can also use a popular or a similar keyword for your title so i could type in best microphone also right here so let's say best microphone under a hundred dollars then from there you'll tap on publish right here after you have tapped on publish i can tap on view and you can see how the pin looks so now if someone were to go onto my pin they will see the link three link right here and once they tap on the link they'll be redirected to my link three and then from there they can tap on the product and they'll be redirected to amazon and once they make a purchase you'll get a commission and that's it hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe 